Hey everybody! Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to another one hour of That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we are now. All right, great. Uh, well, today's one hour power is going to be exciting. Today we have a skit. I know. It's going to be a, a great addition to our one hour of power. Today's uh, theme is all about patience. Everybody say that. Patience. That's right. Uh, one of our questions today for later, but I'd love to hear your thoughts are, what is one of the times when you have the hardest time being patient? Is it waiting at the store? Is it waiting for lunch? Is it uh, at home with family? Is it riding in the car? What's one time when you have the hardest time being patient? So we're going to get to that in just a little bit. But we're going to start off with a couple songs. That's right. Uh, the first song we're going to sing uh, comes from a story in the Bible when God freed the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. That's right. So God used a man named Moses to free his people from slavery in Israel. And Moses went to Pharaoh, who was like the king of Israel, and said, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, oh baby, let my people go. Ufta. Yeah, sure, you betcha. Now, there are some actions to this song, and then the song is like a story. So when we sing the verses, you can like listen to the story. If you know the words, you can sing along. But when we get to the chorus, I want you to jump in really loud. All right, so this song has some actions. Repeat after me. After me. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let my people go. Let my people go. Ufta. Ufta. Ya sure you betcha. Ya sure you betcha. That's right. That's our, our camp version of the song because we really know that Moses was probably Norwegian. Mm -hmm. So we just, at, no, I'm just kidding about all that. All right. So what I want you to do, though, is after this, find a children's story Bible or your regular Bible and read the story of the Israelites crossing the Red Sea. If you're looking in the regular Bible, um, that's a story in Exodus. 
Um, it's like the first 12 chapters of Exodus about the plagues. Um, and so you can get to the part eventually where they cross the Red Sea. But um, in the children's Bible, it's a great story to talk about God's power to rescue us. Um, the next one we're going to sing is also a story in the Bible, and that's the creation story about how God made the world, and he made all kinds of animals and trees, and he made this really weird animal called the hippo. And so we're going to sing a song called the hippo song. So please repeat after me. After me. In the beginning, God made the seas. In the beginning, God made the seas. And the forest filled with trees. And the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, he made the sky. Above it all, he made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. Just to show how much he cares. In this time, he had some fun. In this time, he had some fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hippo, 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 part of us. Hip 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 oh 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 part of us. All right. This is one of those songs that takes longer to teach the actions than to do the song, but we shake it up in the middle. So uh, keep your eyes open and your ears open to hear how we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Start out in the beginning, it goes like this. In the beginning, God made the sea, and the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, He made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much He cares. In this time, He had so fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. And uh, I'd love to hear it. If you've been to camp and sung the song, what's your favorite way that you've sung the song? Let us know right there. But uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to do this robot style. So all the actions, what words, to pretend like you are a robot. That's right. So here we go. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest. So we're going to rap it. Here we go. In the beginning, God made the seas. In the forest, do the chin. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, he made the sky. His fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. In this time, he has a fun. something like that. All right, now, we're all also going to do this song really slowly. So get out your slow motion accents and actions. Here we go. In the beginning, God did the sea. And the forest filled with trees. Yeah. 
today. So those are two songs that come from two great stories in the Bible. So after this is over, parents or kids, get out your Bibles and read the story of God creating a world and read the story of God leading his people across the Red Sea. Those are two very awesome and important stories of the history of God and his people. Well, speaking of stories, we have a special event for today's one hour of power. Today is Wacky Wednesday, and on Wacky Wednesday, we are going to have a good old-fashioned camp skit. And when we do skits at camp, we need a little help to get ready for the skit. And so we're going to pretend that we can hear you through the TV or through the phone or through the computer, and I want you to do your best skit chant to get us ready. And that goes like this. Skit. Whoop, whoop. Skit. Whoop, whoop. Skit. I think it's going to be good. Oh, mm. Are you eating back there? There's no, no eating on the bus, and the, your chewing is driving me crazy. Stop. Please, just put it away. Put it away. Save for lunch. Put it away. Hey, stop Thank the you. bus. I'm ready to get on. Hi, guys. I'm so excited for this field trip today. Get in your seat. Please. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. Are you guys excited for the field trip today? I love learning. I wore my best shirt today. It's all about science because pool is all about angles and it's so fascinating, the geometry of it. And I'm just so excited about our whoa, trip Whoa, 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 back there. Could you uh, hold it down just a little bit? Yeah, can you stop no. talking? Yeah. Yeah. How about if we oh, listen to some, how about if we listen to some music? Yeah. I mean, you okay. Let me try this. There we go, a little music for you. I think I heard this on the elevator this morning in my apartment. You know, even this music's just... <sighs> Alright. Hey, let me on the bus, let me on the bus! <sighs> yeah, oh. have a seat. Mm. I mean, I've just been, got the song in my head, it's just giving me energy. It goes, I don't know if you guys know, but it goes, it goes like, oh, there was, there was, you guys got to echo along with me, you know, oh, sorry, I'll sing it for you. There was a moose, and he liked to drink his juice, there was a moose, and he liked to drink his juice, there was a moose, no, but sir, no, stop, stop, I cannot, I went off, I can't do this anymore, off, off the bus. Noise. Okay, are you, 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 all he does is talk. He does this every single time. It's just annoying me more. Probably a nice guy. And <laughs> this other kid won't stop singing this silly moose song. Like, what is the obsession with meese? Mooses? Meesin. Maybe much meese. I don't know what to do, Mom. I just can't do this anymore. I can't handle it. Can you know, pick me up? You know, honey, I can tell that you're irritated right now. I'm very irritated. But just calm down. Remember the verse we talked about during motion this morning? Oh. From Colossians chapter 3? It yeah. says, be patient with each other, and bear with each other, and forgive each other. Even when I don't like what they're doing. Yeah, there, there's always going to be things that irritate us and bother us, but we just have to be patient with each other, and yeah, maybe, maybe just, just to wait without complaining. You'll be there soon. Yeah, maybe I'm just tired, too. Okay, all right, I'll get back on the bus now, Mom. Thanks. Yeah, that's good. i got to go play pickleball now. Bye, honey. Okay, bye. All right. All right. I can do it. All right. Back on the field trip. Oh, 
Excuse Sorry. Just, okay. Just, okay. I'll just, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, is everybody ready back there? Yeah. Yay! Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing a package and a Vikings hat. There was no. no. It's over. <laughs> All right, we are going to read from none other than Colossians chapter three. Verses 12 and 13, just like we just said in the skit. And it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. I don't know about you, but I can get annoyed pretty easily sometimes, right? There's a lot of times where it's hard to just wait for something. Like we wait for a summer, or we wait for like to hang out with our friends, or we wait to go on vacation, or anything that we're looking forward to. It can be hard to just sit and wait for them, and wait for those things to happen. And to wait patiently for them. That's what I was kind of talking about, like how we need to not be in a hurry all the time to do things. Like a great example is like in a car. How many of you guys have ever been in a car and you're going somewhere, it's really, really long, it's like hours long car ride, and you're like telling your parents, you're like, are we there yet? 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 And they're going crazy. And your parents are like, you just need to be patient, we'll get there eventually. It'll happen eventually. And we have to wait for those things to happen. Same thing. I, one of my other favorite examples of it is sometimes when I come home, my home's in Wisconsin, when I go back there, I walk in and it smells like brownies, right? We have to be patient and wait for those brownies to come out of the oven. Otherwise, we're going to get burned. If I were to like grab in the oven and try and grab a brownie, I would get burned. And it wouldn't be good. But when I'm patient, then those brownies taste really good. And it's just a really great thing. So... Always remember to clothe yourselves with patience. When something happens and we get mad at somebody, we just bear with them. We need to just be patient with them and wait for them to come around and love them and forgive anybody who hurts us or anything. All right. Next, we are going to do the game of the day. And I'm going to invite two friends to come up, actually three friends to come up, and they are going to demonstrate this in human style. I am by no means encouraging this human style, but the game of the day today is bowling. All right, uh, Mitsu is going to come over here. I am. Yep. And he is going to pretend to bowl Dan. Dan, you're going to be the ball. I'm the ball. Okay. The ball. And these two are the pins. Doing here? You're just going to roll, roll, roll Dan, and he's going to try <laughs> and knock down the pin. Whoa! <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing, except you're going to use a ball, any kind of ball that you have, and you can use water bottles, empty, full, doesn't matter, or plastic cups if you have them, or any kind of thing that's not going to explode or go crazy if you're bowling into it with a ball, and then you're, you can try and go like a sibling or just against yourself, see how many pins you can knock down total. You can do a complete like bowling tournament where you have 10 different rounds, you just set it up every time. Anything that you would like with the bowling. That's what we're going to do today for our game of the day. Awesome. Well, that's all we have today to set up your one hour of power. Just a reminder after this that we've already talked about, read the creation story and the Moses story from your Bibles um, to remind yourself of those songs we sang at the beginning. Um, also, a fun thing that you can do right now, in our skit, Bree was talking to her mom on the phone. Obviously, none of us are women. So my challenge to you is to see if you can guess which of us was the voice of the mom and, and put it down in the comments below um, so you can, you can see and then we'll let people know at the end, okay? Also, um, just a reminder that... Um, to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channels to uh, get updates on what we're doing during this time. 
There are conversation starter questions for you in the description of this video. And uh, we hope that you have a very blessed day. Thanks for joining us for One Hour of Power. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.